Exercise associated hyponatremia is um, a condition that we, we now recognize a little bit more and realize that this happens. Um, we see this in a couple of conditions, but it is when somebody has taken in too much water and not enough sodium. And I've uh, experienced this in, in two sets of patients. One is going to be the person that's outside exercising or working in the heat and they know to drink water, so they drink lots of water and lots of water and even some more water because they know they're supposed to drink water, so they drink some more. But they're not taking in the sodium, so as they sweat in the heat, they're losing salt, losing sodium, but they're not taking it in. The other time I've experienced this, the other group of patients I've experienced this with, is sort of a water poisoning, and it's usually somebody who's trying to pass a drug test. So they know they have it coming up, they had too much fun over the weekend, did some things they weren't supposed to do, so now they kind of flush it out of their system, and that night they decide to drink two, three, four gallons of water, and that flushes out the sodium too. So these patients oftentimes will have some headaches, they'll be sick to their stomach, maybe some vomiting, They're, they may have a little bit of swelling with their hands and feet as they have so much water in them. Um, they don't seem to like light, so a little bit of photophobia with it. And if it's gotten severe enough, they may actually have some pulmonary edema and shortness of breath and tachypnea with it. So sit these patients upright. Don't let them drink any more. Um, provide oxygen for them to maintain that oxygen saturation and transport them to the hospital or we'll take care of them. Um, CPAP might be indicated if somebody has um, severe enough crackles and pulmonary edema with it. But generally, this is something they'll have to take care of at the hospital with some sort of sodium supplement and, and maybe something to, to help them lose the fluid without losing the sodium.